If people feel valued and not threatened, they will be very, very willing to contribute what they have. Everyone is needed. Everyone has got their own gift. My name is Reverend Namde Madoka. Currently, I am at Semeris Denam as their associate priest. I've been there for three and a half years now. My ethnic heritage is that I'm a black African, uh, as can be seen. You know, it's, it's clearly the way God has made it to be, and, and it's something I'm very, very proud of. In terms of my spiritual heritage, I, I see my spiritual heritage as, as the love of God, which is all encompassing. It's a, the love of God is what He has kept in our hearts to make us to know that we are all his children. That love has made me to know that everyone I come across, irrespective of their background, irrespective of their race, irrespective of their differences, that we are all created in the image of God because God is love and has called us into that great love, the love that knows no human understanding the love that unites us and makes us to appreciate him for who he is. If we are all children of God, whatever that is, the differences we find within ourselves, we will be brought together into that unifying love of God. My first journey has been from, from birth. Being born into a Christian family, uh, my father is an archdeacon in Church of Nigeria. So I see myself as what we call in Nigeria as a vicarage boy, so I grew up at the vicarage. That played a major part in my life because um, my father was not just as a priest, but he was also a missionary that was going around planting churches from one town to the other. And as he moves, we moves with him. All through the time I was growing up in my household, I didn't come to understand what it is to um, embrace God in a different way, in a way that becomes more meaningful. Everything that happens within the church and living in the vicarage means I have to be involved. But I was doing it to fulfill all righteousness until when I went to the university, um, through the fellowship I joined, I came to have a more deeper relationship with God. And that has turned everything around from that time up to very now. I came into this country in 2004. That has been also another change in my, 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 my way of thinking and my way of embracing life because coming to this country has opened me up into what diversity is all about and how to appreciate people from different backgrounds and different areas. My first work when I joined here was in a multinational um, and multi-ethnic environment. That was the first time I could see that we all look the same, we, we are not all the same. My journey to ordination um, was not smooth. At that time, I'm talking about 2008, being a student that came here to study and uh, wanted to progress into that ordination process, it was very, very difficult. I encountered a lot of setbacks, but because I was convinced about what God wanted me to do and his call upon my life as at that time, um, I had an intention to answer that call. I feel that there is a lot of, uh, I say, high barrier that doesn't make it easy for a lot of people who are from the minority groups to be able to come in and, uh, and be who they want to be within the Church of England. Even within the time we were in training, I could hear from other people's stories who also felt that same way, that um, it's not as easy as it is to be able to solve that puzzle. It's, it's quite difficult. Growing up in Nigeria, I a tendency to respect our seniors we carry that along into the way we relate to God. So being in an environment of worship becomes something that we don't take for granted. 
that reflects in the way we, we dress. So most of us come to church, you know, or dressing anyhow, because if you cannot be able to do that to your own father, not to talk of God, my wife, they find it difficult to come to church service, not covering her hair, because that is an aspect of culture. Coming into England and um, going through three years as a Melitus for my degree has opened me up into a lot of different churchmanship, you know, different ways that the church relates to this. It is something to be grateful to God that, you know, God actually accepts us wherever we are and whoever we are. So in my secular job, I am the coordinator of the, the same Black History Month I was just talking about now, and we, we call it Embrace. And we go about trying to encourage people from both the Black and Asian and minority groups to come with whatever that God has given to them or whatever talent that they have and become part of the community. Black History Month to me is something I so much cherish because to me it's a time that we come together to, um, to celebrate the great achievements of so many of our black people across the world, what they have done. And also to you know, talk about our own insecurities and weaknesses and our own failures also, because as we celebrate the achievements, there are still a lot of gaps that need to be filled. So it is a great time for people to come together to celebrate, to be able to understand and, li and listen as well. Because most of the times, we need to listen to one another to know what they're going through in order to be able to encourage them and to build up a society that is strong. If people feel valued and not threatened, they will be very, very willing to um, contribute what they have. Everyone is needed. Everyone has got their own gift. It is quite obvious that we are underrepresented. I mean, within the Church of England, you know, you cannot rule yourself out. There is still a place for you. Because if you come out and prove that you are able to show that there is something that you have and you want to contribute to us too, the, the, that chance will come, but it's, it might not be that so easy. If you fail, there's opportunity for, tr to, for you to try again. You have to believe in yourself. Be ready, because once you know your problem is half solved, it's not going to be easy, but you can still go through. All you need to do is to show what you have and demonstrate it. Everybody should be comfortable in where God has placed them, because God, God is a great designer. This is purely the way Igbo people dresses. So I decided to put it in a way that it shows that one, I'm an Igbo man, and I'm now a priest with the collar. And if you look at this collar, you will see that this collar has seen many years. This is not a new collar. This collar was the collar my dad was ordained with. And he gave it to me. And any time I wear this collar, I wear it with pride. And I know that all the prayers he has rendered all through his life as a priest is embedded in this color. And so me wearing it is like Elisha receiving the double portion in order to work, work for him. So yeah, both the shades, the color, they all have great stories and great impact in my life and in my ministry. Thank you.